All right, developers, this application just landed on my radar today, but it is so cool. I had to stop everything and do a video to share this with you. It's called devchallenges.io. And essentially what it is, is a collection of projects to help you work on your developer skills. So the directions here are number one, choose a challenge. Read the description carefully. If you need help to decide, go to paths and aim for a certificate. Step two, work by yourself or with a team. They can be completed by one person, but teamwork is important. Very true. If the challenge is too big for you, ask a friend to join. And step three, submit your solutions and give feedback. When you complete the challenge, submit your solution. You can also check if there is an existing solution and give them some feedback. So down here, you can actually choose between responsive, front end, and full stack. And then you can choose your level. It starts with beginner, goes to elementary, intermediate, upper intermediate, advanced, and proficient. So some nice granular controls here. But as you can see, Different challenges include 404 not found, my team page, interior consultant challenge, checkout page, my gallery. There's even a portfolio one down here. Here it is. Portfolio, this is an intermediate project. A portfolio is the most important certificate when applying to a job. In this challenge, you will create a beautiful portfolio page. The directions are right here. Read the challenge, start the challenge, and download the resources. Check designs on Figma and have fun coding. So here are the requirements. And there's also a link to five free hosting platforms. It's kind of nifty. And I haven't even logged in yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in. I'm just gonna hit start and download, save it. So in the readme file is actually some starter code, and then it's time to get to work. And once you finish it, you can submit the solution, title, description, demo URL, repo URL, and a feedback request if you so desire it, and then you can submit it. And then once you start submitting the challenges, you can further filter them. So if you've already completed the portfolio challenge, you can say, okay, do the ones I haven't completed. And then you can see the ones that still need your attention if you wanna give them a crack. And if you're feeling a little bored, check out the proficient level because there's a Trello clone and a Twitter clone. And then there's a solutions tab here where you can check out other people's work and give them feedback and see what they're doing right, maybe what they need improvement on and compare that to your own work. And then you can get feedback here as well. You can also filter these solutions based on the project. So let's just say I want solutions for the 404 not found challenge. Hit apply. And then this is a collection of people who've submitted this project for feedback. And then down here is a My Solutions area where all the projects you're working on, it shows you the status, if it's completed and who liked it. I just thought this is a really neat idea. This is devchallenges.io. Shout out to the developer who developed this because this is a light year or maybe even two light years ahead of the stuff on GitHub. Adding a ton of features and functionality here really cool place. If you're a developer, you've been needing some challenges, not knowing where to go for them. Here's one of the sites you can go to devchallenges.io. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did smash a button, don't care which one it is, just smash it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.